corals also reproduce sexually, but being fixed to the seabed, they can't move to find a mate. Somehow they must synchronize their sexual activity, and they do so using the rising water temperatures of spring and the phases of the moon. A few days after the full moon, in late spring, when tidal currents are at their weakest, the corals of the Great Barrier Reef are ready to spawn. Some corals are male and release clouds of sperm. Nearby, a female will be releasing eggs. Other species of coral are both male and female. These release packages of eggs already pre-wrapped in sperm. of eggs and sperm float to the surface to mix with others from further along the reef. Each kind of coral times its release to a certain hour on a certain night. That maximizes the chances of cross-fertilization. The fertilized eggs drift away from the reef. A coral lava drifts in the open sea, floating in a soup of young reef animals. Just one of these coral larvae settles in a suitable spot and survives, a new reef will be founded. In just a few days, the lava changes form and becomes a polyp similar to a sea anemone. Identical copies bud off and gradually a colony develops. Each polyp surrounds itself with a hard skeleton and from this solid base begins to grow. It increases in length by an impressive 15 centimeters a year. This branching coral is only two years old. A mature reef can be thousands. <laughs> 